everyone. Welcome to Wine and Wellness Wednesday. I'm Lindsay Brantley, the founder of Camellia Elise, and I'm super, super excited to have you guys here. So a couple things. Um, if you are new to Wine and Wellness, welcome. But if you are, you know, returning guests, you guys know that every week I toast. I hope that you guys have your glass of wine. Um, but I told you guys last week that I was actually starting a 25-day challenge Hello, everyone. Thanks for joining. So this week, I'm fixing to toast y'all, but I'm toasting with uh, sparkling grapes. No wine for me this week. So I hope that y'all have your wine. So let's pour it up, um, toast, and then get into this thing. <laughs> I wasn't going to leave y'all hanging. I got my uh, sparkling grapes and I have my uh, bottle of water because, you know, the 25 days is all about um, increasing my water intake and increasing my health and wellness. So, sparkling grapes for me today, but I hope if you have your wine, you know, I want to toast to you guys. Hope that you're having an amazing Wednesday so far. Okay. Also, one other thing that I have to point out to you guys. For those of you guys who have been watching me do wine and wellness for months, right? Um, about three months ago, I was so excited that I got my braces taken off. I was super excited, right? Um, but I have to <laughs> say a special shout out to uh, my orthodontist, Dr. Brown. She has been uh, voted one of the best, and she is the best orthodontist in Texas. So I would say if y'all have to get braces, get somebody who has in, who is invested in your smile as though it is their own. So I went for my three month checkup. She was not happy y'all, so I'm back in braces again. <laughs> but I do love you, Dr. Brown. I'm doing this because she was like, nope. She's like, it's not where it needs to be. We gonna get your smile right. So. I was super excited three months ago. I'm back in my brain now. All right, but let's jump into this thing. So every week I come on on Wednesdays and we talk about skincare, self-care, and everything in between. And in between the sessions, I get all different kinds of questions from um, all kinds of people um, in the DMs, in our emails. Keep the questions coming, guys. Um, thank you guys so much for submitting them. So what I decided to do this week, instead of having a specific topic that, you know, I wanted to talk to you guys about, I'm just going to do Q&A for some of the questions that we have gotten. And, you know, every couple weeks I'll do that. So if there's anything that you guys want me to talk about specifically on wine and wellness, um, anything skincare, self-care related, something that you guys want me to touch on, please let me know. But I'm going to go ahead and answer a couple of questions that we got. All right. So the first one says, um, I just had a quick question. Is it true that the location of a breakout on your face can indicate underlying problems? So yes, um, I, and I will post in our stories tomorrow. We posted it a couple months ago, but I will post the uh, facial map for you guys. Um, where you have breakouts can be based on certain things. So if you have a breakout in one area, um, you can have, you know, uh, it could be due to stress, of course. It could be due to your pillow. And obviously, nowadays, things are uh, due to your mask. But sometimes when you have breakouts in one area, it could indicate, you know, digestion problems. So, yes, uh, where you break out does make a difference. Um, and we will share that map with you guys so that you can kind of get familiar with what areas mean what things. Okay? Oh, okay. So, we got another question. Um, for Misty. Hey, Misty. Thanks for joining us. Um, it says, what do you recommend for under eye darkness? Well, look at me. I'm all, look, I'm, my under eyes are always uh, puffy. Uh, but I, the first thing I would say, obviously, you think about cucumbers, right? Because whenever you go to a spa, or you go someplace, um, you can put cucumber peels under. And actually, I keep, um, there are certain companies in Target now that have the little um, cucumber-based eye rings that you can put in the refrigerator. Um, cucumbers have about 96% water, so they're really, really good for um, putting hydration and helping with inflammation. So that's the first thing I would recommend. Um, second would be as part of your skincare routine, when you're washing your face, you want to actually massage this area. Um, a, lot, a lot of times it's because of lack of circulation that we get these dark circles. Obviously, you get them you know, from not sleeping enough as well. But um, if you could just take your uh, daily moisturizer and kind of make sure that you're massaging in this area, you will start to notice brightness and notice a difference. I'm working on, working on brightening my, my area up now as well. 
And so first thing, like I said, I do the cucumbers quite a bit. And there are a couple of eye serums that we are testing out now as well. If you know me, I don't recommend anything until it has been, um, until it's been thoroughly researched and tried and I'm like, okay, yes, this works. Um, if I don't see it working, then I don't recommend it to you guys. So if I find that there is a really good serum that I wanna recommend, I'll share that with you in the next few weeks. Um, we got another question that says, how long should you leave the cucumber, cucumbers on for? Minimum of uh, 20 minutes. You want to give it at least 20 minutes, but sometimes I'll just, you know, lay there and listen to some music and go for like 30 to 45 minutes. But you want to make sure that um, you're able to absorb the moisture from it and the coolness in order for it to really help with inflammation. You need at least 20 to 30 minutes of just letting the cucumbers stay on your eyes. Um, and then we got one other question that I'm going to read. And then you guys, y'all are asking me questions, so keep, uh, keep the questions coming. But um, let's see, what was the next one? I hope I answered the first one. Oh yeah, so facial map was the first one. We will be posting the facial map. Then the second question was about under eye circles. So we talked a little bit about that. But yes, I would start with cucumbers. I would start with as part of your moisturizing routine, making sure that you're massaging um, the under eye area so that it is getting circulation and um, a good blood flow. Um, and then the other question that we got that I wanted to ask really, I mean, answer really quickly, and then I got a live one as well. So this one says, hi, Lindsay, I've been trying to fall into a day night facial routine for the longest time, but everything I research seems like a million steps that require a ton of product. Is there a skincare for beginners, three to five process, um, or is it really this complicated? So that's a really good question. Um, and, and this is one thing that if you guys have been following me, I talk to you about the essentials. It does not have to be complicated, guys, especially in the beginning. Um, the most important things are going to be that you have a facial wash. You got to wash your face. Um, you need a toner because the toner helps with um, bacteria. It helps with um, sebum overproduction, which is your oil overproduction. So toner for balance. Then you need a moisturizer. Every time you wash your face, every time you wash your face, you are taking off um, layers of skin. You're taking off um, the oil that your skin naturally produces. So you have to do something to put moisture back into it. So yes, you wanna make sure that you wash, tone, moisturize, and then have a sunscreen. And of course, we'll talk a little bit more about that as well. But those are the four basic must-haves. Anything else, um, when a client comes in to me based on you know their skin's condition, are you worried about wrinkles, are you worried about hydration, um, once we figure out what the issues are, then we'll kind of talk about what else you can add uh, for your ritual, but you need to make sure for your daily regimen that you have those four steps, okay? And I'll repeat those again. So you wanna make sure that you have a good facial cleanser, you have a good facial toner, that you have a moisturizer to put back the moisture in that that you know face wash is taking off, and then you want to have a sunscreen. Okay. All right. And then the other question that we got here is, what are your thoughts about those scrub gloves to exfoliate the skin? Okay. So scrub gloves to exfoliate the skin are great. I actually use them for some of our full body treatments here. But just like everything else, it needs to be in moderation. And I typically don't, um, like on a daily basis, recommend that you use scrub gloves and an exfoliant, right? That's kind of overkill. Now, if you're going in and you're getting a treatment, you know, a full body exfoliation, then that's okay. But on a daily basis, I wouldn't use the scrub gloves. I would maybe use them um, two or three times a week max. You don't want to over exfoliate your skin because then you open your skin up for um, irritation, a lot of times you're, you know, removing too many layers, okay? Um, so you don't want, hey, thanks for joining, guys. Um, I'm so excited to have everybody here. But yeah, so um, just to go back to that question, it is it is great to use those gloves. No, no issues with them. Just don't overuse it. Use it in moderation. Um, you shouldn't be using those scrub gloves every day in the shower, you know, one or two times a week to help exfoliate you know, open up the pores, get rid of dead skin cells, and you actually may have like some ingrown hairs under the surface. So utilizing those are fine, or you could just use um, a natural based body scrub like the ones that we produce 
and you wouldn't need the scrub and glove. So I wouldn't I wouldn't necessarily do gloves and an exfoliant. I would either do a one or the other. So I hope that answers that question. Okay, guys, well, you guys are amazing. So this was just the uh, part one installment. So like I was saying, um, I get all kinds of questions all the time. And so we just want to make sure that every couple weeks we come on and address different issues. Now, next week, I'm going to be talking to you guys about um, some self-care routines. So we'll take it back to self-care. And then um, the week after, I'll probably do some more Q&As. So if there's any questions that you guys have specifically about skincare or anything that you want me to talk about, feel free to DM or email us at any time and we'll get your questions answered for you. Thank you guys so much for joining us. And like I was saying, for those of y'all who joined us later, um, you know, it is wine and wellness and I love my wine, but I'm on my 25 day challenge y'all. So I will be drinking uh, my sparkling grape. You know, I'll be drinking my sparkling grape for the next few wine and wellness Wednesdays, but I hope that you guys have your wine. We have made it through hump day. We have made it through half of the week. Y'all enjoy the rest of the week, and I will be seeing everyone very soon. So toast to you guys. Hope that y'all have an amazing rest of the week.